A poster that says buy two shawarmas and get one free is the reason I decided to dine at this restaurant. The meat is quite spicy and masala packed. They do add few veggies to it, namely cabbage, tomatoes, onions and some mayo. I want you all to keep two things in mind before you dine here. Firstly, the shawarma is quite intensely marinated. It's a very Indianized version. Secondly, the mayo is little on the sweeter side. Personally, I like a well-balanced mayo, but I'm sure many people love the idea of a slightly sweet mayo. Anyways, if you want to try it out, it's Cafe Grand in Bunny Mantap. Overall, it was a good roll, not superb, but totally worth it. Perfectly cooked crunchy chicken kebab for just 50 rupees. Today, I'm going to be introducing a roadside eatery that serves amazing food. I got their bullsai, Kerala parotta, omelette, chicken gravy, and chicken kebab. Their parottas are made to order, which is something I really appreciate because if you got to taste a parotta in all its glory, you got to eat it fresh off the stuff, smashed like this. I also got their omelette and bullsai. There's nothing to describe here. It's just an omelette, but to dip that hot and flaky. Keep porota in that yolk. Oh my good lord. Do read my description Butter for the chicken location. is my favorite Indian gravy and tandoori swagat makes the best in town. This is obviously their tandoori chicken. It was cooked perfectly. Both the dark meat and white meat were super tender and juicy. I could taste a subtle amount of sourness and heat and it paired beautifully with that mint chutney. Now coming to the butter chicken. It was super creamy because of the tomato puree and the cream, the richness of the butter, the subtle amount of sweetness and the perfectly cooked meat. It was just amazing. I paired the butter chicken with a butter naan and I feel the butter chicken deserves a better butter naan. The best fish fry you can eat in Mysore. Now, when I say best, I always mean my favorite. This is also a must-visit place for any spice lover because the spice levels here would put the Korean spicy noodles to shame. I particularly like their green fish fry for the sharp-hitting spice, maybe a little bit of tang, and also it's pan-fried, so it's a little healthier. Pair the fish with their dosa and red chili chutney, and you can see capsaicin entering into a whole new dimension. You can also get their deep-fried fish. Anything you get from here is 35 bucks a plate. It's Lazi's fish fry right opposite the Gaussia Hotel in Mandi. Kapsa rice and chicken kebab from Etihad. The Arabian restaurant. The kapsa rice was cooked with potatoes and it was really nice to eat those potatoes because it had soaked up all their flavors. The rice used here is long grain basmati. It was cooked really well. I could also taste some sourness. Don't order it expecting a flavor bomb. It was quite mildly seasoned. Anyways, it was really nice eating it with the crunchy and spicy chicken kebabs.
just stay.